Hello and welcome everyone. This is your favorite host Diablo and today I'm going to show you my newest program. So it's uh, it's just uh, entity list finder but it's much more advanced than than it seems. So I will just show you what this program does. So I know that a lot of hackers may, maybe a lot of you will watch this video and you will know that this process of finding the entity list is kind of fun sometimes and uh, why would you use a program like this to find the entity list i know you can do it uh, by yourself i know but i can show you just how fast i can do it you know i i can save so much time with this program and if you are a person who works on multiple games um you can find the entity list uh, extremely fast so right now in this game I can click a unit uh, some and here I have the the base address of the unit that I clicked right as you can see as you can see here the address changes every time I click a different unit so let's just say I take the base address of this unit and all that I need to do to find the entity list is just give this base address to my program so I click um, I select what type of <clears throat> I select what type of entity list I want to search so we have two type of entity lists do you remember the entity list that just contains pointers to the next uh, to, to to some entity you know this is a pointer to some entity structure you go four bytes uh, and there is another pointer to another entity and when you see zero the this is the end of the list yeah but the other type of list is you, you see this is your uh, entity you have your your health and stuff and the structure size for example is 8 and when you add 8 to, to this address to the first entity you go to the next entity yeah so these are the two types of uh, entity type lists yeah so there is no information on, on, in, in Google so I don't know how to call them so I just select container or separated by offset you know so we will go with this option for now I have my base address I have separated by offset um, and I just click scan and you see how fast it was so I get the structure size because I don't know how um, how long this structure is and I instantly get returned the structure size so there is a way we can test this okay you take the structure size I mean here is the same address but here we add the structure size and there is not so much difference very little changes so so we know that when you see so many green values here uh, it means yeah this uh, size of the structure is correct because if we increase it even by one byte we can see so many wrong results so so we know this is correct okay so the next thing that we see is this this is the entity list address okay let's test it so this is supposed to be um, where the first entity is so okay we will go uh, we will go one entity backwards to see if this is the first entity there should be no other entity be behind you know so we, we we go to the previous entity and we see this there is nothing here so so indeed this is the entity list we have the entity list size so we can just jump to the next entity and so on yeah <clears throat> so Warcraft 3 is a game that has many lists it has 
lists for the heroes as you can see this is a hero and this is just a simple unit so it has uh, separate lists a list that contains only the heroes a list that contains only the buildings there are so many lists in this game and they're stored in different way they're not just stored like this you can also find them uh, looking like this you know where the, the entity list is just uh, it just contains pointers to the next entity so we will try to find this list like that looks like a container as I call it okay so again we will go with the same address but this time we will search for container okay we click scan Oh, what the shit okay we scan okay this time it takes like uh, three seconds but it's not a big deal so let's see okay pointer to unit yeah you can see this uh, it returned a list but is this the beginning of the list let's test it minus four bytes and yep we see zero because there is nothing before the first entity so we know that this is the start of the list yeah this is some unit this is another unit and so on yeah so it works and it's super fast but I know I know what you're going to say this is some fake program that I created just to work for this game why don't you try it on another game okay 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 I will try it on another game okay so what we have here is a very old game uh, it's Heroes 3 I know I don't know if you played it so what we have here is is this hero and uh, when I move I have a certain amount of movement points before my movement uh, limit is reached so you can see when I move this green stuff here which is my movement points is decreasing as you can see I will try to increase it once again as you can see yeah it's increased so what I want to find is uh, this is the the hero movement points so this belongs to to the structure of the hero and the hero is an entity so I want to find all the heroes on the map so what we will do now is just find what accesses this address to get the pointer oh we got something so 4d this is the offset to the movement points I guess so we will just take this address minus 4d and we see we see the name of the hero here so yeah we know that this is uh, the base address of some hero we don't know uh, how big the structure is and so on but for that we have our entity list finder right so let's let's find the game okay so what is the address six two all right separated by offset scan okay first we test if the structure size is correct plus okay we see so many red values this is not correct okay this time my entity list finder gave me incorrect structure size so what should I do now well I go here again and I click show me all possible list size and now I guarantee that this will return a hundred percent correct results it will give you it gives you three possible results one two 
two, three. And we already know that this is not correct. So we will just go with this one. Plus, yeah. Now we can see something. We can see the names. This is the hero name, so yeah. And we got a lot of green values, so we know that this is the correct structure size. So, but what is the start of the entity list? Let's see. It says this is the start. Okay, we will test it. Okay. We can see this is the first entity. And as you can see, we have nothing now. We have no other entity before this, so indeed, this is the entity list.